Real Steel, a movie about robo boxes controlled by hand movements. Today, we make Real Steel real. That is so cool, that is crazy. We're gonna do this in Python. One, because I use this in my role as an analyst and in machine learning, which we'll use lightly here in computer vision. And two, because it's the only programming language I use. Next, we'll use Jupyter Notebook just because it's what I'm used to. I'm sure there's better environments for this. And then we got the basic script up and running. The enemy, the green one, doesn't do much. It moves randomly, and when I collide with it, nothing happens. Now this is just the framework of the virtual battle we're gonna build. So here's how it works. Robot moves randomly. Every frame it generates a random value for its movement in its X and Y direction. Now, to implement more sophisticated AI behavior, such as making decisions based on the game's state, or your movement, you'd have to use neural networks or more deep learning techniques with reinforcement learning. But for now, we're gonna work with what we've got. I've added these health bars, which don't do too much, other than when you hit someone by pressing space, it reduces the health of the enemy. There's no animation to show you're pressing space. Also, you can't get hit back, so it's pretty easy, which is good for me, but you can just leave the map like that. You can just walk out. You can just leave. Bye, have a great time. Now, at the moment, I'm not really controlling this with hand controls, but we'll get to that shortly, I promise. What I did do here was a little bit of a change. Now the enemy should be able to hurt me, but it can't. But what I can do, at least, is when I press space, I can punch it. You can see a little blip appear above my head, and that's me punching the enemy. Again, when I kill it, nothing happens. And just for now, I'm getting a little bit of damage taken from me, but not much. I need to up the rate at which I'm getting hit. The next step was to improve the enemy AI before we got into implementing the hand controls using computer vision and machine learning. Here you can see the robot going crazy punching a lot more often, a lot more visibly, and the game was immediately over when I beat it. So we gave it another go. And here finally the enemy is actually following me a little bit too close for my liking, it doesn't quite give me any room to breathe, but at least it's not just jittering back and forth. Now in the next iteration, I added a slight change. Here you see the enemy doesn't just gun towards me, it also seems to hit a little harder and more often, which is great. The fight seems a little bit more fair. This is a close one actually, I think when I die here the game actually ends, there you go, brilliant. So there's no more problems with it just running forever. And I was very happy with that as you can see. And now for the moment of truth. Didn't work. That, that isn't great, is it? It's supposed to say punch or fist when I raise my hand just to show that it detects it. It didn't. Now this was supposed to use a computer vision algorithm that would recognize the object of my hand. Here I got it working. I raised my hand and it would say punch. This was huge. I was very excited when this happened. It didn't do anything, but look at that little smile. Look how happy I am. This took ages and I accidentally stumbled on this. Now you might not be able to tell what's happening here, but it's actually tracking my hand movement in front of my web camera. So when I move it, it moves, and when I press space, it punches. I really like this implementation. I think it works really well. And it's a little bit weird in that it's inverse, so when I move my hand left, the character moves right. But it's very fluid, and it detects it very well. So this is what we ended up going with. So let me show you that in a little bit more detail. You'll see this is just one of the initial, very early stages, but when I load up the game, I just saved it as an executable file. I'll leave my mouse there for you. You can see that when I put my hand up, it tracks it in inverse, and then it's able to fight the enemy. The enemy now has a feature where it goes gray as well. The idea behind that is that it deals less damage when it's in its gray state, so you should attack it. It's a little bit buggy here, but I end up fixing that. And ultimately, I really like how this worked. Now, here's a closer look again at what this would look like. Now I haven't used anything like PyInstaller to make the Python file in EXC, so at the moment we'll just run it like this in the command line. But you'll see there, it's tracking really well. The enemy is going gray. I should be able to punch it as well. It's taking a lot of health from me there. I've changed the health bars a little bit as well. They're a lot clearer at the top. And you can see there, it works. Now this was getting too easy for me. It got easier the more I played it. So I added more enemies. This is how it would work when you killed one. 
it would spawn in another one. You can see they're randomly turning grey. This for a little bit too long. And when you killed the two, you'd then get three, and so forth. They'd keep replicating to make it harder and harder each time in waves of the levels. And here we've reached the culmination of the video, everything we were working towards. I'm going to show you both the webcam and how it works. So again, you know I control the player with my hand. If it collides, it causes damage, there's no more spacebar attack. When the enemy's grey, it gives you a little bit of damage, so that's when it's best to jump on it. Otherwise, when it's red, it gives you a lot of damage. And there's different waves. So here, let's get the webcam on. I know it's not the best angle, but let's show it and run the game. Something I started to notice here is that the first enemy had full health, whereas the other ones would just instantly die. So the more and more levels didn't really make it too much harder, but you can see it's all working in theory, and each level my health bar is reset. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. We made real steel real. If you want any changes or a full game made, let me know. Now all the best, and good luck.